features on the dashboard, which is install a new device and service an existing device, because these are the two areas that would get used by most engineers um, on a daily basis. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to install a device. So first and foremost, make sure that the device is on test with the ARC, make sure it's powered up and also make sure that it's commissioned. So to ensure that the device is commissioned, once you power it up, you'll have the, uh, the LEDs on the front here. Once you get the third LED on solid green, it means that the device is commissioned and is fully online, but we'll revisit that uh, later on in the, uh, in the update. So we're going to start the installation. So to start installation, if you've got the limited access that I mentioned before, which is where you can only see a device that you're working on whilst on site from a, a new install or a service, and the only option you will see is scan QR code. If you've got the user access, view only or admin, then you'll also have the option to enter the connection ID and also to browse sites. But we'll go ahead with the scan the QR code. So select scan QR code, scan the QR code, and this will now bring up the unit that we are installing today. So the first thing it shows us is that the site is connected when it last polled. It shows me the site name, it shows me the connection ID, and it shows me if it's pins only or if you're doing serial connectivity. So if you've selected that you want to plug it onto a control panel, it would actually tell you which one you've got it connected to there. Uh, but we can also see at the bottom here that this is a dual radio. So radio module number one is on um, 60% using 4G. Radio module number two is on 50% and it is also using 4G. And as you can see here, the device will refresh every 30 seconds. So you're always getting that latest information. So next step on the installation, have I got, the correct unit for the correct site. So if this is blank at this point, you can put in the site name or the contract number, whatever it is you use to identify the site. But really, really important because the more information you put onto the MyBase app, the easier it is for your business to manage your connections simpler and quicker. So at this point, you could change, update the site details if you uh, need to. Updating the information here for the site details does not impact the information that you hold to the ARC. So if you want to put a unit on a different site then it's really really important that you update the monitoring station if the site where the unit is going to be installed is going to change so all that you're doing on this part here is updating what's seen on my base you're not updating anything to do with the alarm receiving center so save address next option that we've got is do we want to install this on serial connection or do we want to install it on pins so initially i'm going to install this on pins so if i select pins it gives me a little note here just to say if you're using pins, you are missing out on some of the great features that you get with serial connectivity. Serial connectivity will let you deliver alarm signals in extended formats, so see a contact ID. But it also, and really importantly, gives you the ability to connect to those leading control panels for upload download. So for making changes remotely, emitting zones, changing user codes, carrying out remote maintenance, etc. So doing serial connectivity does give you a lot more. But for the purpose of this section here, we're going to continue with pins. So continue with pins. And what it will also tell us now is that please ensure at this point that you carry out the pin learn. Now, to carry out the pin learn, all you would need to do, there's a label on here that says press C to test or to hold C to uh, do your self-learn. So if I press and hold the C button for what is approximately uh, five seconds, the amber light will give it a brief flicker. And then I've then done a pin learn. Uh, one of the things that we get lots and lots of phone calls for within the tech support team is can uh, about doing pin learns, etc. So we've got the sticker on on the device there that says tap C to test the test uh, the the, um, the alarms and hold C to do your self learn. So at this point, I've done the self learn. So I'm now going to continue with the test. So next, what it's now saying is to trigger some alarms in the property and they'll appear within the uh, within the logs as we go through. So what we're now going to do is we're going to start triggering a few alarms to get those through. So I'm just going to trigger some alarms on my device here. And we'll just let this count down, actually, just while, so you can see all the alarms that come through. And as I said, this refreshes itself every 30 seconds. If you want to update it quicker than the 30 seconds, and as it says there, just pull the, uh, the screen down and that'll refresh your alarms. What we'll do, I'll just keep triggering these alarms here. And then in what is five seconds, it will update the uh, the alarms in here. So you can make sure that the device is commissioning correctly. So there we go. We can see what alarms I've now triggered on here. So again, a really, really good way of ensuring that you're commissioning your um, devices correctly. Quite important at this point is that this process doesn't mean that you don't check with the ARC. You've still got to confirm with the monitoring station 
that they've received the alarms that you triggered. You want to make sure that you commission your site correctly. So what we're seeing here is that the alarms are hitting our platform and getting delivered through to the monitoring station. But please ensure that you can track your monitoring station to ensure that those alarms have gone through correctly. So the final part is that we have now finished the uh, initial installation. So you can see here what we tried to do with my base is make it as simple and straightforward as possible, but also ensuring that you're doing the key things that you need to do whilst doing your initial install.